We're here today to dedicate officially the first electric generating station of its kind for the sole purpose of producing electricity from wood waste. The issue today is not a choice between conservation, coal, nuclear, renewable, or all in forms of generation, but rather it's the need to use all of them when practical. On October 15, 1983, the Kettle Falls Generating Station was dedicated at Kettle Falls, Washington. The facility came in on time and on budget, and an audience of several hundred people cheered its debut. It is particularly pleasant to be here this morning to look at something highly positive in the energy field, something that will be good for the economy of this area of the state, something that is very good for employment, and something that is very good for the environment. That's a happy combination. If we fail to plan and build today, tomorrow could be too late. In eastern Washington, 86 miles north of Spokane, and on the banks of the Columbia River, lies the community of Kettle Falls, the site of the new 46-acre wood waste generating plant. It's an area rich in history and beauty. The passing years have seen many changes in the land, but not in the wealth of nature's bounty. As the nation's power requirements increased, massive hydroelectric projects began to take shape. Grand Coulee Dam, upon its completion, backed up the Columbia River 160 miles, so today Kettle Falls appears much different than it did in the past. The Pacific Northwest has a broad-based hydroelectric system, but there are few sites remaining to be developed. Alternate energy sources are needed to cover new electricity demands. Coal is one alternative, and perhaps by the year 2000, coal and other existing resources will be supplemented by still-to-be-perfected forms of generation, such as wind and solar. There's available today another energy source that makes sense, a waste material that is plentiful in the Northwest. In the lumber industry, there is inherent waste of material. To produce high-quality lumber, a large percentage of a log's volume is lost in debarking and sawing. In the past, the waste bark and sawdust were incinerated in TP burners to the detriment of the environment. There seemed to be no easy solution on how to dispose of this waste material. One answer proposed by the Washington Water Power Company was to use this material to fulfill power needs, to turn a waste product into needed electricity, jobs in a cleaner environment. And so the idea of the Kettle Falls Wood Waste Generating Facility was conceived, a plant that fit into the trend of smaller, easier to license, easier to build facilities. What Kettle Falls points out to us is that we're going to be looking at all uh, resources uh, uh, down the road as meeting our customers' needs. We won't be looking at just large thermal plants. We're going to be looking at alternatives. We're going to look at, be looking at smaller plants. And, uh, and I think that Kettle Falls kind of kicks off that effort. In a record two and a half years, this idea became a reality.
Construction was accomplished by the Morrison Knudsen Company of Boise, Idaho, the prime contractor. I'd offer to you with no modesty at all. We're very proud of this facility. It was such a dedicated effort. It shows that we, as managers of resources, can do a project and do it well. It's something that uh, many folks have, have uh, talked about and a lot of studies have been made, but Washington Water Power has taken that quantum step and, and actually uh, put the project into uh, action. It took close cooperation and teamwork between the Washington Water Power Company and Morrison Knudsen, among labor unions, between management and labor, supervisors and workers, among contractors and townspeople. Just the spirit of cooperation. Everyone worked well together. It is good to be at a project that is on time and on the money. That's a rarity in the modern world, something that gets done when it should be done and within its budget. The community took a personal interest in the progress and completion of the plant and its operation. Here's where the process begins, not at Kettle Falls, but at area lumber mills within a 100 mile radius of the plant. When logs are turned into lumber, thousands of tons of waste are created. Independent contractors truck the wood waste to the Kettle Falls generating station. Once they arrive, the truck is weighed, and then the sophisticated wood handling process begins. The truck dumpers lift the trucks to a 70 degree angle until all the wood waste slides into specially designed receiving hoppers. Up in the control tower, the entire wood handling process is monitored and operated. From the receiving hopper, the material is conveyed to a disc screen, which rejects pieces over three inches in diameter. These oversized pieces are routed through a wood hog, which reduces the waste to the proper size. The stack-out system transfers materials to the storage area, where a 60-day supply is kept on hand. The fuel storage is rotated so that the older fuel is used first. This reduces the chances of spontaneous combustion. A carry dozer distributes and moves material into position for the reclaimer. The reclaimer supplies a series of conveyors and wood handling equipment that is capable of delivering 100 tons of wood waste an hour into the plant. Once it arrives at the plant, the fuel is distributed into a traveling grate at the floor of the furnace where it is burned. The heat builds up steam pressure in the boiler to 1,500 pounds per square inch. This pressure turns the turbine, which turns the generator, to produce up to 46 megawatts of electricity. That's enough to serve an average of 18,000 Washington Water Power residential customers. The cooling tower removes waste heat from the turbine exhaust and cools the water for reuse in the plant. The plant operations are monitored in one location by a state-of-the-art advanced computer system. The facility falls well within state and federal environmental standards because a sophisticated pollution control system was installed. And as you can see, our staff emissions are very clean and uh, consist mostly of water vapor and carbon dioxide. And uh, we're gener generating very clean power. One thing I enjoy most about it is that the uh, wigwam burners aren't throwing smoke in the air anymore. 
Wigwam burners in eastern Washington are now only a relic of the past. The plant has given a boost to the area's local economy. The support we've received from the community, are, it, it, I, th I think it's just outstanding. During the period of construction, the plant has aided in the general good financial health of the Kettle Falls area, and we assume that it will continue to do so. The Kettle Falls plant stands as an example of good planning and ingenuity, and is a big plus for the Washington Water Power Company in this community. The folks that we have here at Kettle Falls uh, are probably the essence of uh, folks with resourcefulness and uh, good background for this type of a project. We People have been called upon to uh, uh, come up with some good old hometown Yankee resourcefulness. But let me just congratulate everybody who is in any way involved in this. This project uh, meets the needs of this community and this state in a very responsible way. And uh, may it be a, a, a forerunner of a solution to our other energy problems in this state. I think they've shown a lot of corporate courage in building this plant at this time. This one, optimism in the future, is what we need if we're going to have those jobs and the, the type of economy we need in this state. Today, we dedicate this project to the benefits of people, our customers, to the purpose of improving the quality of life of those who live in the area and throughout the region. And as we dedicate this plant today, it's appropriate that we pledge anew our promise to make the future even better. The Kettle Falls Wood Waste Steam Generating Plant, where wood waste is turned into power.